What's up guys, day 51. It is Tuesday here of this last week of the daily video training. It may be a completely different day to you, but it is uh, a Tuesday, day 51, and we are hitting chest and shoulders. Only a couple of exercises, two exercises for chest, two exercises for shoulders. You'll notice we only did two exercises for quads yesterday, but I was just saying to a couple of uh, people here earlier that my quads are more sore from yesterday's workout than any other workout during this entire eight-week process. So we are here to damage some more tissue today. We're gonna to be moving to the upper body, as I said, chest, shoulders, only a couple of exercises for each, but we'll be hitting like 10 sets. So, you know, we've got a lot of volume there, a lot of intensity, so let's get fucking mad. As you can see, the first exercise that we performed was primarily for upper chest. So we did a fly followed by a press. The reason being is that I really want you to be able to isolate this movement as well as use a powerful compound movement to really fire the muscle fibers. Isolate it, stretch from the attachment to the insertion or the origin, and then really work a compound in that exercise in an, in an explosive manner on the way up with your press. 30 repetitions, then we rest for 30 seconds, then 25 uh, repetitions, then 20 and 15, finishing at 10. That's the main thing. You may have to go lighter uh, than other people or heavier than others in order to reach failure within that rep range. Now we're gonna do the five sets for uh, the lower, lower pec. So uh, let's get some decline happening. All right, that is it, chest done. We've hit incline, we hit decline, and we're obviously gonna get crossover. So when I did the decline, you'll notice again, I did the fly and I did the press, really bringing my elbows up high to really target that lower portion of the pec there. Again, we did 10 repetitions to failure on the decline uh, with the fly and press. Uh, and obviously we are counting one, two, three. Every single rep is that, is that count. After the 10 second rest, we go a little lighter, did 15 seconds, uh, 15 reps, and then 15 second rest to 20, 20, 25, 25, 30. And then we finished, and now we've got a couple of movements to hit for shoulders. So let's get into it. What? So the first shoulder exercise you'll see that I performed here, starting with 30 repetitions, uh, was like a front raise combined with a shoulder press. So I raise it up, once I'm vertical overhead, I will press it and then slowly work the negative raising it down. So uh, I reached failure at around 30 repetitions, making sure arms were straight and then coming down to a right angle for the press. And we are counting one, two, until we get to 30. We're using a rest pause principle sometimes uh, just to get the 25, then the 20, then the 15, uh, 20, 15, and then finish off with a 10. And now we've got to go to another movement to go back up, this time targeting a little bit more of our rear delts. All right, I'm starting to run out of gas now, so we better start moving on to the next movement. Oh, 
Ende. All right, we are done and it was tough, but I'm really happy knowing that I couldn't have done any more. Now with the rear raises, you'll notice that I had myself supported on an incline bench to really isolate the area that I'm trying to work. I came up in a conventional neutral grip rear raise and then once I did one more repetition like that, I rode it up, but when I rode it, I made sure I rode wide. I didn't come narrow to bring in biceps, and I didn't squeeze my subscapula. Started off with 10 repetitions, uh, went, because uh, I was going back down, I had 10 repetitions after 10, 15, after 15, 20, 25, 30, etc., etc., until I finished this workout. So that is it, shoulders are completely done, cooked. Now we gotta do cardio, baby, yes. 50 fucking minutes. All right, let's get our recaged in us, recover, get this fucking cardio did. End of day 51's workout. Congratulations, I'm really fucking proud of you. I'm really happy that you are here joining me because yeah, we all struggle and we all need a bit of support. And knowing that there are a lot of you watching me now really gives me that support and backbone that I need to finish strong and hopefully get fucking good results, especially for you guys. I don't need to do this. I don't have to get ready for a competition or you know photos or anything like that. I'm doing it because I absolutely love it and you give me the opportunity to educate you, so thank you very much. Now, tomorrow is, and this week is no different to any other weeks. We have arms tomorrow. So, you know, make sure that you do rest and recover, that you have your proper nutrients. This is an opportunity for you to succeed and exceed yourself, not just in the gym, but outside of it as well. You're a clean bill of health, and we're gonna get healthier and healthier as we finish this challenge and start incorporating different types of foods, different type of training plans, and, uh, and accepting ourselves as we are. You can go to bed tonight and go, you know what, I fucking succeeded today. I did everything that I was supposed to do. I should applaud myself and be happy for that. I wake up with a happier self. All right, so I'm gonna be very positive about me going into my cardio session right now. It's 55 minutes. I can't fucking wait. Was that convincing? All right, let's go.